Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Welcome to my another tutorial on Android app development So guys in this video I will show you how to create a pen app in Android Studio and it will take uh, only 5 minutes it will be a simple app and I will show you the simple steps alright in a simple way So guys uh, uh, if you have not already subscribed to my channel then please subscribe uh, so let's get started so I have this project and uh, I will just close the example file alright we don't need this activity main alright so I just uh, remove that so I will create a new class and I then I will extend it, it with the view class so I will let's see our name uh, our class name is canvas my canvas alright so now we just um, we will extend it with view class alright now it is saying and uh, because we don't have the default constructor so we just uh, click on generate constructor and here why we select this alright so whenever the uh, view class is uh, initialized so uh, the own draw method is uh, run alright so I will just uh, implement the on draw method alright so here we will need uh, uh, some variable we need pent class alright and pent and we also need the path class alright so as we uh, when we move our fingers from one pixel to another so this we will use the path so what we will do we, we will first of all initialize our red pen description new pen in our constructor it is a good way to initialize your objects uh, and variables in your constructor so uh, path equals to new path all right so now we will say pen dot set anti allies and we will mark it, it as true and then we, we, we will set the color of the paint alright it, it uh, what is paint it can be the brush alright so you don't need to worry about it it's very simple so I will write paint dot set color and any color which I want so I will say color dot red alright or you can say color dot yellow okay and then we we say pen dot set stroke join all right and here we say pen dot join dot round so it is when we uh, uh, remove our fingers from the uh, screen the uh, when the it is it will be the last uh, pixel and then it will be round all right so, so that's why we have pen dot join dot round here all right so we will set the style of our pen brush so we say pen dot set style and here we say pen dot style dot stroke all right and we can also say pen dot set stroke uh, width so we'll give it with uh, let's say 5f all right and then we initial uh, what we will do now we will just go to our own draw method and here we will say canvas dot draw path all right so the it will draw the path and we'll have the first argument here will be the path and the second one will be paint alright so now we need to specify what happens when we move from one path to, uh, to another alright so here we will say uh, we will implement the on touch method here so here uh, we will uh, first of all get the values of x and y alright x coordinate and y coordinate so we say float x position equals to event dot get x alright on touch method on touch event will be uh, run 
when we touch the finger uh, all right on the screen so we will get the uh, pixel on where our finger is touched all right so we will also say float y position equals to even dot get y all right now i will use this switch uh, condition here so i say even dot get action and so we will say case motion event so we will have three cases here three cases here so first one will be the action down so action down means when we put our finger on the screen all right it will be the action down so here we will say well, uh, we will uh, move all right we will we will move the finger so how we will achieve that we will say path dot move to all right we will move so we will say x position and y position all right and we will return true all right so now another case will be motion event dot move action move and so now when we will be moving so what we will do we will just create the line so we say path dot line to all right and we will pass as uh, x position and y position and we say break all right so now another case we can say motion event dot action up so now when our finger will be uh, untouched on the screen so we will not do anything so we just say break and in default we say return false all right and then we say uh, here invalidate and we will return true all right so now our code is uh, finished and similar so now we will go to our main activity here we will initialize our class so we will my canvas my canvas all right and we will say my canvas this is a new my canvas and here we will provide this and null all right and we will say set content view and instead of odd or layout we will use here my canvas all right so now when i click on run our application this is the previous uh, application which i uh, built so now uh, as you guys can see now it is running then when i click here as you guys can see i have this uh, so if you like the video please subscribe to my channel thank you goodbye